Hola, mi nombre es Max y hoy te estoy <ríe> probando para dulces mexicanos. <ríe> I want to do it again. <ríe> Hello everybody, I'm sorry for butchering that Spanish. Well, I'm very excited for today's video because I'm going to be trying Mexican candy and I'm especially excited because very soon I'm going to be living in Mexico for a month. So this is a little taste of what's going to await me in Mexico. I heard Mexican candy can be very particular not everybody likes it. So I went to the supermarket here in Houston and picked out some things that looked exciting or weird. So I'm going to try my first thing. So these things popped right into my eye because it's like, oh, like candy on plastic spoons. And it's like a lot of packaging and plastic involved. And uh, it says tamarind. And I heard tamarind is like a a fruit and you can buy all kinds of things um, like even sodas and juices and stuff like that and it's very popular with candy and um, I'm not sure what curachindo means cucharindo cucharindo <laughs> I'm not sure what that means in case I have any problems um, I can ask my assistant behind the camera because well she's at least fluent in Spanish so <laughs> el super leon Oh, jeez. Let me check what's going to happen. Ah. Cool. By the way, cucharindo is a spoonful. A ah, okay. So, a spoonful of tamarind. I heard you lick it, so it's like a lollipop. Hmm. But it does remind me a little bit of like apricot or peach or something like that. But the fruit doesn't look similar at all. Like just the taste reminds me of it a little bit. But it's good. But my first... It tastes a little, a little, just a little salty. And I get like a little spice in there, like a little hotness. Not like hot, hot, but like a little on my tongue. And I'm going to like bite a little bit off. Mm, consistency is like a pasty, doughy, something like that. I like it. So I'm going to rate this like a 7.1 on the scale. Yeah. Next one. <laughs> um, I feel like these could be similar to something you might get like in Germany or the U.S. Politoshas. Politoshas. Politoshis. Sandia watermelon flavor, hard-filled candy. They're like individually wrapped like that. Okay, just press them out. Mm-hmm. So it tastes like watermelon. But like the, not like the watermelon taste you get from an actual watermelon, but like the watermelon taste you know from artificially watermelon stuff.
It's good. I like it. I'm going to... Okay, so the outside... <laughs> the outside is like watermelon candy. You'd know in the U.S. or in Germany. But then the inside is like salty and spicy and hot. It's not, it's not gross. It's not gross. It's just... You just have to get used to it. Um, 7.0 for me. Next one. Coconut candy, bandera. And it's in the Mexican colors. Smells coconutty. Mmm. Very good. Whoever likes a lot of coconut is gonna love this. Just plain coconut, nothing else. But it's very yummy, it's sweet. 8.5. You seem to really like the candy, Max, with your reaction. <laughs> no, I like it. <laughs> I like it. Porito de mango. So basically a mango burrito. Oh, it's like, oh, okay. So it's probably what this is, maybe in there, and then like whatever wrapped around it to make a burrito out of it. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a fan of this <laughs> at all. <laughs> this is not yummy. It's too salty. Mm -mm. <clears throat> it's very salty and very spicy. And it's just too much savory mixed with like just the amount. Like, just the right amount of, not the right... <laughs> On the American scale, I'm gonna be like a 4.0. Huh. That's like the first one I don't like at all, to be honest. Not at all. I wouldn't want to eat more of that. You know, some people like it. Duvalin milk candy. Something that's actually similar to European candy. Okay, so we have two different types. We got hazelnut and vanilla and these little packages um, individually wrapped and I have a feeling that it's going to be like the consistency of Nutella maybe reminds me of little Nutella packages kind of Show me. As
almost like what knockoff Nutella in Germany tastes like. I give this cream itself like an eight, no, I guess seven point eight. Okay, so I got one last thing. I think I do, and it looks like the inside of this and it already says it's sweet and spicy I don't want to be too pessimistic about this I'm going to get ahead of myself Tamabola Chile sweet and spicy tamarind candy so it's this I have a feeling that this tamarind fruit plays a very strong role in the culinary field, candy field of Mexico. I'm sorry, I don't have the taste buds for this. I'm sure it's very tasty to a lot of people, it has to be. Like, those two things I'm really not a fan of. This was okay because it was still a little sweeter and it's maybe like, you know, meant as a lollipop you can just lick on. But, also for me, for my personal taste, 4.0, just like that one. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me try these Mexican candies. I'm for sure gonna be doing a whole lot of more Mexican videos once I'm in Mexico. And don't, for, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Maxopolitan. I would be very happy to see you next time. Ciao, tschüss. Bis then. Hasta luego.